Hi, my name is Ryan Saranich for Saxophone Central. Today we're in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we're going to be testing out BG's dual ligatures. The concept of the BG dual ligature was very simple. They wanted to create a ligature that had very few points of contact so that you had maximum resonance. And also, they wanted to focus a little bit on creating a ligature that gave you a little bit of extra focused projection. Basically with a ligature, when you've got more material touching various parts of the reeds and the mouthpiece in a lot of different areas, what you're doing is you're actually lessening the amount of resonance that can happen between all of these mediums, the mouthpiece, the reed, and the ligature. By having few points of contact, you're letting everything resonate more than if all of the ligature material might be touching all of the reed, all of the mouthpiece, etc., etc., kind of effectively blocking it from resonating as much as it could. This is a really easy to play expressive ligature. It doesn't really get in the way of everything else in your setup. You know a lot of times reeds or mouthpieces may have a little bit of a resistance in them and a ligature is kind of those things that bundles them together that allows you to change very small aspects of the sound. Maybe it's a the timbre of what you're playing. Maybe you can get a little bit of a slightly brighter, a slightly darker sound. Um, maybe you want a little bit of a different control. Maybe you want uh, your altissimo to come out a little bit easier. This ligature for me feels very, very transparent on the saxophone and it really just allows me to express myself. So I've got a few of these duo ligatures for us to listen to today. Some for tenor, alto, and soprano. The first ligature we're going to look at today is the duo ligature for tenor in silver, which I've had for a long, long time. Altissimo is a very easy thing to do. So we'll talk a little bit about the gear that I'm using here also so that you have some context. This is my P. Moriat 600 XJ tenor saxophone, unlacquered, and a Theowani Shiva 2 hard rubber tenor saxophone mouthpiece with a Legere signature 2 and 3 quarter reed. When I settled on the BG Duo ligature for myself, I also knew that I was going to have to go through and test all the various finishes that they made in this, so I settled on the rose gold. Because for me, in an alto sound, I generally want a fairly dark sound, and of all of the finishes that they make, the rose gold was the darkest for me. <laughs> Thank you. 
happen to have this silver dual ligature for alto sitting around. So maybe this is an opportunity, hopefully, to help you hear that there is just a very minute sound difference between the two of them. Just so that you have an idea about the rest of the gear that I'm using this, so that you have a little bit of something to go off of. This is a P. Moriat 67 Influence alto sax with the flute keys on it. There's a whole video about it on this channel, check it out. And a Theo Wani Cali hard rubber mouthpiece, which used to be one of his more high baffle mouthpieces before the Durga. This is no longer being made, unfortunately, but I still love it, and I still have a couple of them that I keep. And also, lastly, a Legere Synthetic Signature Reed, size 2.5. So last but not least, we'll check out the Duo on Soprano. And again, this one is in rose gold. A lot like the Alto, I like a very dark soprano sound. Whereas on tenor and baritone, I do like kind of a bright, punchy, edgy sound. So a little bit about this gear so that you have a little bit of perspective. This is a P. Moriat 601 Soprano Sax in dark lacquer. It comes with two different necks, a straight neck and a bent neck. I'm playing the bent neck, which I feel is a little bit darker for me. And then Theo Wani's Gaia Soprano saxophone mouthpiece and Legere Reed's Signature 2 and 3 quarter. 